dollars on my head like I don't want to Yeah, I'm part of what I did, I'm gonna come up Yeah, you let me on red, so don't try to run I want no smoke, then come in peace Flow so foreign overseas Got them praying, they like, please They want cheddar, not no cheese Under fine, they don't get it, it's amazing I was down bad in the basement I would pray to God for a placement I was never patient, I was always racing Got me on the drive, that's a flagrant Little boy, tell me what you're chasing We gotta do better, gotta be clever Gotta love more, that's a statement Yeah, they just wanna see me in the grave Come out the lot in the rave uh, Oh no, I can't wait You can read what you saw in the day I was down, I'm up to the plate Pack up a hits, cause you know I can't play We gon' win it, no matter what it say Got the stick, we gon' bring it out the safe It's silver stuff, yeah, it's just inside the grave You wanna raise a red, then I drew your day Shut up on my car, that had a sneeder, ayy Somebody take a tenant, because we the way Walk around the house, got drip on anyway They gon' eat it up like it's a dinner date Seen a Lambo, claimed it on the interstate Claim it's nothing when it's Jesus in the stage, y'all oh, On the front of silver, it's the game I feel my calendar, I'm losing track of all the days Call me what a boy, and I was giving them a name I was sitting on the bench, they had to put me in the game I be from the daughter, they said ashes in my veins Gotta show the guts, but I'll never be ashamed Pushing on the break, the win, I know it's gonna be great Just to celebrate you when your family gon' hate They just wanna see me in the grave Come out the lot in the rave uh, Oh no, I can't wait You can read what you sold in the day I was down, now I'm up to the plate Got a couple hits, cause you know I can't play We gon' win it, no matter what the shirt What is up, y'all, and welcome back It is a beautiful and typically sunny day here in Florida It is hot as hell outside, but it does look hella pretty outside And we do have kind of a bit of a breeze uh, pretty busy day on this road too So I made it back over here We're working on the block um, The block was looking pretty good um, We had some of the paint lift up on the back side Since we were trying to do this in the rain yesterday But I went ahead and resprayed it It looks fine um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Take off the timing here I forgot to put one of the washers that goes down here Last night when we were rushing to clean up I found the washer, so I was like, well, I'm going to have to take the timing belt off and go ahead and uh, reinstall the secondary washer so that the timing belt doesn't slip back and forth. Once we get this done, I got the manifold in these brackets over here. I'm going to go ahead and spray those. My buddy went outside to go get more paint um, so we can go ahead and paint them all a few different colors, get a little bit of contrast on the block and make it look somewhat decent. Uh, we went ahead and cleaned up the head a little bit so it looks a little bit better. I'm not too worried about the bottom here just because once you put the headers on, you're not really going to see it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and redo this valve cover. I'm not sure if he's going to shave it all down and redo it all completely, but um, I think he wants to do wrinkle red, which is going to look really good with the color of the car. Like on my car, my car is red, so like the wrinkle black contrasts really well against the red in my car. But... Um, Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this down, fix that timing belt, and uh, get to work on painting those parts over there while he waits to get back. And I'm out on my tools over there. They all got soaked. So we spread them out, waiting for everything to get all the water and everything off of it. We'll go ahead and polish it. The only thing I really had to say was my feeler gauges and stuff like that, because I hate when those things get messed up and I have to keep going about new ones. But, uh... Alright, so see y'all in a bit. off slide the sprocket out and then uh once i do that I'll just basically put it all together all back together um hmm. looks like the timing moved i'm gonna go ahead and put the cdc real quick before we continue <laughs> So that's exactly where you want to be now what i like to do though is i like to make sure it's super tight right here 
because what's gonna happen is you end up with all your slack on this side. So once I go to tighten this, I like to pry up here and it basically takes all the slack out of the, uh, the timing. So I'll go forward a little bit like that. And then I just kinda gently bring it back till this is super tight and you got all your slack on the right side. And the only reason I hit this with the impact gun again is so that way your timing doesn't move when you undo the bolt. If you do it with the ratchet, depending on how tight it is, when you go to loosen it, it'll move everything and you'll have to do everything I just did again. Loosen the tension here. Slack there, and then slide it off the uh, tensioner there. Belt comes off. And then, being a bit of a pain, you can just get a flathead and just kind of push up against. The oil pump here, just be really, really careful because uh, if you push up too, too hard, just kind of feel it out because you can end up breaking the oil pump there. Not that it'll do anything, like the, the oil pump will still be, it'll still do what it needs to do, but you know, just if you don't want to crack your oil pump, be really careful. So I think this one the sprocket has it built in, but some of them don't have it built in, so you gotta kinda keep tab on that little keyway. we got two of these guys this one came off the back side earlier because I remember it being extra shiny after we pressure washed the motor put that guy in the back there like that excuse me and we'll go ahead and put our sprocket back Check your marking, move a little bit. So you'll see me go like this, get this over and around the water pump here like this and I'll just kind of lay it like that. And then I put most of my emphasis on this left side. I always try to get this left side lined up.
just kind of work this flat head in here like this and pry up on the tensioner a little bit more. Do get that rock solid. Right there, right here. And I'll just go ahead and snug up the tensioner. And you'll see barely any play on either of the two sides. Some people will say that you don't really need to uh, go that far and push the tensioner like that. The spring should do all the work that it needs to do to tighten this up. But we like to put these motors through a lot of abuse, especially like on my car. My car is on boost, so under high boost, this will actually kind of flex a lot. And if you notice, a lot of people, what they end up doing is they end up doing that, that kit. Um, I forgot who it is that makes it, if it's PLM or 1320 or whatever. They're all the same crap anyways. Um, they'll eliminate the power steering pump and you get a bracket that goes here with an extra tensioner that lets you tighten it until this thing is rock solid. So, I don't know. On one side of the spectrum, you have some people arguing, saying that your belt shouldn't be this tight. On the other side of the spectrum, you have people saying that these belts aren't tight enough, so you gotta add a secondary tensioner. You decide which side you wanna back up. But I like mine being rock solid and I don't need a secondary tensioner our cars don't make a thousand horsepower so i really haven't experienced anything like that yet but most of the high power cars out there like pablo's integra who unfortunately just crashed his integra last week if you've seen him run he has that secondary tensioner personally i haven't seen if his timing belt has any flex or not but i mean it's a safety measure i would imagine that these bearings that come on these tensioners aren't made to withstand a car that's pushing a thousand horsepower and putting that kind of load and pushing down on this tensioner like that so i guess it kind of makes sense it's just for me and the cars that i work on and that i've built it's not really a necessity the way that i do my timing belts is usually good enough so we drained out the radiator now that we have the radiator out of here there is so much space like so much space it's uh yeah, that's one of my things a lot of people like to you know work around stuff and uh you know try to work without touching as much stuff as possible but i just prefer just to take the extra time and just get everything out the way that way you could just work a lot more comfortably so a lot more space now so now that the radiator is out headers are already disconnected i can go ahead and climb under and uh take the linkage off um axles were already taken out yesterday so they're not there but i can take the linkage off i can take the exhaust um, disconnect the exhaust from the bottom take these headers out that'll give us even more space and then I can go ahead and get started on the uh, the T bracket back there get that out of the way usually once you got all that pretty much out of the way then I mean you're pretty much uh, good to go and then this AC compressor I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna deal with that yet I'm probably gonna end up just disconnecting it from the bracket and just letting it hang off the motor some way somehow um, and then just like the power steering pump, once the motor and everything's back in, we'll just kind of bolt everything back into place. So, uh, yeah, let me get started on working on this stuff in the back here in the bottom and uh, get that all sorted out. The harnesses are all completely disconnected. Yeah, everything's disconnected there. It's just kind of thrown over the motor here, so all that's going to come out all in one piece. Got to disconnect the brake booster line there. Cruise control is just off to the side here. That's going to be going back in. We're going to try to leave this car as stock as possible. I'm even going to try to put the little plastic guard from the bottom back in once the motor and everything's back in place. And then did the same thing here. Disconnected this from the firewall and all the food boxes and everything and just, just kind of thrown over. So it's all going to come out in one piece. And then we'll just swap over whatever we need to swap over. <sighs> Gotta do... Okay, so Shane went ahead and disconnected the fuel line from here. I usually just disconnect it from here and leave it hanging, but it's the same thing. You can do either or. Um, yeah, I just usually like disconnecting it from here because like if you're using a fuel rail, like in this case, we're gonna be running the AEM fuel rail that came with that motor. So I'm gonna have to take the line from here anyways um, and put it back onto this motor over here, so. Right, yeah, let's get to it. I'm back like I never left. They just treating every song like another check. I'm pulling up to every court and I'm calling next. They try to end me now, I'm stopping my foot on their neck. You'll be surprised what they do.